We would be honored if you would join us. Hey folks, we're doing a little bit of a throwback uh, figure review today. Obviously, Darth Plagueis is uh, just had his debut <laughs> um, live action appearance in the season finale of The Acolyte. So I thought we'd go back and take a look at this figure. Um, I have reviewed this one in the past. This is probably going back to 2013, I reckon, at the time when the, uh, the Black Series first kicked off in both scales. Um, obviously, at the inception of the 6-inch series. And it also had the uh, the sort of the 3.75 line as well. Um, yeah, I will leave a link at the end of the video to my original video if you want to go check out that review and just yeah, you know, just take a little trundle back 11 years. That's how long this figure's been out. It's uh, it's it's wild to think about. Um, yeah, still one of the most renowned stories in what is now Legends. Um, Darth Plagueis by James Luceno. Definitely recommend it. Read. Still holds up. Still one of the greatest Star Wars novels, period. Um, I think it's so renowned by fans that as they bring in Darth Plagueis' story, I don't think they're going to stray too far from that source material. I think it just it holds up so well. Um, obviously, they can build on that and do sort of different things around it. But in terms of how that story is, is set up, I'd... I wouldn't go and change too much. I don't think they will. Um, obviously, we only got the tiny little sneak peek of the character in the Acolyte. It's just enough to sort of say, yep, he's around. He's hanging out. He's doing his thing at this time. So, <clears throat> let's take a look at the packaging. Because, yeah, I have hung on to it. <laughs> so, you got the little, the little sort of the line art drawing there, number 18. Um, yeah, in recent years, Hasbro have sort of gone back and done a lot of re-releasing of these figures, the Black Series figures, onto vintage collection card backs. Um, and there's still quite a lot to go. And uh, this would be probably be a perfect opportunity to, to, to redo it, to put this guy out again. Unless they're going to, to do a new version uh, yeah, in the future. Known as Darth Plagueis the Wise, the Sith Lord experiments with ways to cheat death using midichlorians until he is killed by his own apprentice, Darth Sidious. So yeah, I definitely glad I picked this one up back in the day, as he's, you know, even with that appearance in the Acolyte recently, his stocks has risen, <laughs> and for good reason too. You know, it is a good figure. Let's, let's get a good look at this 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 old boy. So yeah, accessory wise, he does come with his lightsaber, which did have a peg on the end of it, which would go into the end of his staff. Uh, this one took a tumble at some point in recent years, um, or whether it was when I had all my figures in storage, and I did unfortunately break that. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a that's a little bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. You know, it happens. It's end of the day, it's just a toy. But um, you know, if I really wanted to, I could you know just sort of super glue that back on. If I ever re-release him, I will pick him up again. But yeah, to be able to have him wielding like a light sort of lightsaber staff was really cool. So yeah, he's got the sort of the soft goods sort of robe, which gives the figure a little bit more bulk than he actually has, because he's quite a skinny dude, the Munes. Um, I don't know, part, part of me feels like they could do this figure again and make him a little taller. I just feel like it would fit a little bit more. Um, just for scale purposes, I'll stand him next to the new Kane and Jarrus. So yeah, he's... Not much taller, and I don't know. I sort of whether it's just me that envisioned that. Um, that could be on me. But yeah, the robe, obviously, you know, a nice modern robe, even even like soft good, or even like a light plastic one that can sort of just sort of wrap around the figure would be cool as well. But um, we'll take that off and get a look at the uh, the gangly fella. 
So yeah, Darth Plagueis, also known as Ego Damask. That was his original name. It does have a breathing apparatus there, which you can take off. I'm not going to pop his head off. I'll just get it out of the way so we can get a look at his look at his head sculpt there. And uh, yeah, I'll zoom up and have a look. So we've only seen, I think we've only seen one other version of the Munes, and that was Sand Hill from the uh, Banking Clan from Attack of the Clones. So in terms of, you know, figure size and scale and look, that's really all we have to go by. Of course, Sand Hill did have a brief line in Attack of the Clones on Geonosis. But yeah, then you can put the uh, breathing apparatus, which Darth Plagueis ends up with at some stage. It was unclear whether he was indeed wearing that breathing apparatus during the, his appearance in the Acolyte because it was really only sort of the top of his top half of his face shrouded by the uh, shadow of the hood in the cave. Look at all the wrinkles on his head. So he does have this little vest which you can sort of take off if you peel, up, peel it back over his arms. But yeah, long spindly legs. He's got the knee armor with sort of the shin armor. I was trying to find a uh, date stamp on this guy, but it doesn't appear to be one. There is like a batch, batch imprint number there. I'm not really seeing, it might be hidden under there on his back. I'm not sure. You know what? Let's have a look. Let's investigate while we're uh, while we're doing this. Oh, I was right. So there we go. Let's have a look. Two thousand thirteen LFL, Hasbro SA China. So there you go. Yeah, eleven years old. This guy, eleven year old figure, which is. Unreal. I remember getting this guy quite quite early at the time when I did my original review. Because it kind of it did quite that video sort of performed quite well. See the lightsaber. It does sort of sit in the hands, it's a little bit loose. Um uh, maybe that hand's better. Yeah, that hand's a little bit better. But he looks good. I think he still holds up. And, you know, you can put him canonically in your arena now, in your collection. He doesn't have to sit on the Legends shelf. You know, he is. I mean, he's always been canon because of his, his mention in Revenge of the Sith, but I'm glad that Hasbro... Uh, uh, sorry, Hasbro. Lucasfilm have... You know, they understand the quality of this novel and the, um, you know, the meaning to that to that book for, for fans and, uh, you know, readers. So they're not, they're going to keep it, you know, pretty close. So I'd, I think, if anything, they'll just grow around the story. Um, I don't think we'll ever get a straight up adaptation as much as I'd love that. Because it is an incredible book, the way it sort of bleeds in through to the Phantom Menace, you know. And Darth Plagueis ends up being killed the night Sidious is elected Chancellor, which, you know, just in itself is enough reason to be inspired and go read the book. He recently showed up on uh, Tung Hori. So I'm not sure whether he's still round about there, but, you know, this figure is... It's still just so cool. I'd love to see... Oh, I'd take a, re a redo of this figure. I'd take a re-release. You know, this guy on a vintage card, even use the Acolyte and put him out on that card back. That'll look fantastic. Give us a Black Series, whatever, six inch. But yeah, if you can track this guy down for a reasonable price, might be, might be a bit difficult now, but... You know, put the pressure on Hasbro. You sort of seek their re-release. Like I said earlier, they have been um, 
they have been redoing a lot of the uh, the Black Series figures. So were, they were. They basically took over from the Vintage Collection for, for, for a couple of years there. Don't know why. <laughs> I think it was a silly decision. They should have just kept going. But um, I think at the time it was marketing, it was, uh, you know, the line was due for a refresh and that was what... The Star Wars action figures had done forever. They just every every two or three years they do it, or every year or two they sort of do a line refresh, and that was kind of kind of very much in the uh, in the mindset at the time. Um, gratefully, they've they've gone back and stuck with it for as long as they have, and now we're up to a, a you know a line that boasts probably close to four hundred figures plus, nearly five hundred figures. You know, well over three hundred individual cards. Single carded figures, multiple Haslabs. It's it's it could go on endlessly, but we need to uh, you know we need to show Hasbro that we support the line, and you know want cool stuff like Darth Plagueis in the vintage collection. So yeah, definitely an important figure in in the history of three and three quarter inch collecting, being it's the, sort of the only version of him we've ever seen. Kind of get the idea of the articulation, you know, pretty standard. You know, is it a ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders, elbows, swivels at the wrists? Is a swivel at the waist there? No swivel at the waist. Uh, swivels at the hips, ball hinge in the knees and ankles. So, you know, pretty standard articulation, but it does what it needs to do. Does what it needs to do. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and uh, yeah, wait to the very end. And uh, yeah, I'll put a link to my original review from 2013, and uh, you know, get a taste of old The Force with Jesse. It's it's going back a long time. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. Till next time, may the force be with you always.